Hey guys, and welcome back. It's time to take a look at our first landscape example working with Adobe Camera Raw. So let's go ahead and open our image here. We're just gonna double click on the background of Photoshop and we're in chapter three, section four, landscape A.dng. Let's go ahead and open this up. And just to make sure everything is reset, we're gonna click on our menu item and go to reset camera raw defaults. All right, we're gonna do some really cool stuff with this image. So let's go ahead and start off with our lens corrections. That's a great place to start. If you're ever curious, what do I do first? Lens corrections, always for the win. All right, now the next thing that I'm looking at here are this, the sand dunes here in the foreground, uh, they're just a little bit like washed out. I want them to be darker. I want them to be more saturated. I want it to be like more punch. I, I, want, I want this to be really like, a, like to draw you in. So what we're gonna do is target those areas with an adjustment brush. So let's go back to our basics and then grabbing our adjustment brush, we're gonna go ahead and start painting this in. Now let's go ahead and click here on our little menu. I'm gonna go to reset our settings. And let's go ahead and turn our mask on so we know where we're, where we're actually painting. So in this case, I'm just kind of painting right down here. And keep in mind, you can change this mask at any time. So if you don't get it perfect uh, right now, it's not a big deal. You can just change add to erase and you're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and turn our mask off and turn our overlay off for a second. and kind of take a look at things. Well, first the thing that I want to do, I just want to kind of bring my exposure down a little bit. I think that's just a little bit too bright. Let's try bringing our highlight level down as well. All right. Now, bringing our clarity up is just going to get a little bit more information in there, just mid-tone contrast, um, which clarity, by the way, is really great uh, for landscapes. All right. Now, let's bring our shadow levels up just a little bit because I think they were just a little bit too dark. All right, and that's looking really nice now. Now, the next thing I wanna do is work on the color here. So I'm gonna to go to my targeted adjustment. There we go. And we're gonna go down to our hue. So let's go to hue, and I can just click and drag up and down here, right on this thing, and adjust the hue of, of this area. So this is my preferred method of working on hue. So I'm just gonna kinda of pull this down. Uh, I want it just to be a little bit more reddish. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now let's go here to our saturation. Let's bring the saturation up. There we go. And now let's check out our luminance. And I want to go ahead and bring my luminance down just a little bit. All right, cool. That's looking really good. Now we can go back to our basic adjustments here. And uh, Sorry, we haven't actually done anything to our basic adjustments. Let's go back to our adjustment brush and then make our adjustments now that we've uh, affected the color here. So working with, maybe we'll bring the highlights. Actually, that doesn't seem to make much of a difference at all. Maybe we'll bring our contrast up just a little bit. You know what? Oh. You know, as I'm adjusting these, I'm realizing that it's not making any difference. If you're ever in that same boat, just be sure to click on your overlay here. I got to reselect this guy. So make sure it's selected. Make sure it's got that red. I can now click the overlay off and now I can make adjustments. I was like, why am I not doing anything? It was kind of funny, actually. All right, let's bring our clarity up just a little bit more. All right, and we'll go ahead and bring our sharpness up as well. All right, I think that's looking really great in the foreground. Maybe it's a little bit too saturated. So let's go back to our targeted adjustment brush. Uh, let's click on our saturation. I'm gonna click and just drag down just a tiny bit to lower the saturation, just, just a hair. Okay, so that looks really good. We did a good job targeting our foreground. Let's go ahead and take care of the sky. So again, I'm gonna use my adjustment brush. Let's go over here to, uh, I wanna be creating a new adjustment brush. Let's turn overlay on and let's go ahead and start painting here in the sky. Now it's going to use the same settings that it used right over here. So let's go to our little menu option, go to reset local correction settings and let's go ahead and turn our mask on so we can see what we're actually working with here. There we go. 
And it's okay if it overlaps the mountains just a little bit. All right, there we go. Now let's go ahead and turn our overlay and our mask back off so we can see what we're doing. And I'm gonna bump our clarity up. Let's get some clarity in there. All right, cool. Let's bring in some contrast into our sky as well. Nice. And I'm gonna bring my highlight levels up as well because I really want those clouds to kind of stand out. Basically what I'm looking here with my contrast and clarity, I want those clouds to really stand out from the blue sky. So uh, we're seeing quite a bit more, um, you know, quite a bit more uh, detail there in the sky. All right, I think this is actually looking really, really nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, targeted adjustment brush here. Let's go back to our hue. I think I might've just overdone these just a little bit. So let's go up just a tiny bit. There we go. Yeah, that's looking a little bit more natural. Okay, well, I think we're looking really good. Let's go back to our basics. Keep in mind that, you know, when you're in your adjustment brush, that's gonna edit just the areas that you actually select. Going back to your basic adjustments here, that's basically gonna edit the entire photo. So now we can bring our clarity up here just a little bit more on the entire photo. So this is doing, you know, this will do the ground and the sky. This, it, it'll do everything as a whole. All right, I think we're looking, yeah, I, I actually think we're looking really great. I'm gonna bring our contrast up just a little bit. And uh, man, I'm, I think this landscape, I, I really think we brought a lot of life to this landscape. So let's take a look at our before and after. Um, <laughs> that's a big difference, you know, before we don't see much information here in the sky. And this just looks a little bit washed out and a little bit boring here in the after. You know what, I think we can bring our contrast up even more in this after, given the type of landscape that it is with, with these shadows, I think contrast uh, is kind of helping us out there. Just as long as we're not clipping our shadows and our highlights. And you can see from our histogram, we are not clipping either. So we are really, really good to go. And uh, I'm super happy with that before and after. I, I think this looks great. And uh, I think every landscape deserves this type of treatment. So let's go ahead and open this object up. Perfect. I'm loving this, man. Adobe Camera Raw, it's so cool. I hope you guys are loving this too. All right, perfect. So now we're good to go. We have, we're, this is a 16-bit Photoshop file. If I wanted to go in here and do maybe some spot correction or you know, if there was a person standing there, we could spot heal them out. But other than that, this is good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it out. Let's make sure we put it in our Photoshop folder. There we go. And we are good to go. Well guys, I'm super happy with this landscape. It's really easy to do. Basically, we use that adjustment brush. We targeted the sky, edited that. We targeted the ground, edited that. And then we took care of the image as a whole and brought everything back together again. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next section.